Hey guys, so if you know me, you know I am a total and complete perfume addict. And so for today's video, I wanted to review a perfume that I've wanted to try for like, I don't even know. Whenever it first came out, I've wanted to try it and I finally did and I wanted to review it for you because in case you're interested and don't know if you should get it yourself, which is the Gezu perfume. Um, this is the honey infused hair perfume by Nagin Mirzalehi. Mirzalehi. I think I'm saying it right. I'm not sure if I'm wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, but this is the honey infused hair perfume that she came out with. She has her own line. It's called Gezu and she has all these products and they're all honey infused. So the story behind it is that she's had a family bee farm for generations and I think her either her dad or her grandpa is a beekeeper and so she's used that honey for different products and she came out with this whole line using all her family honey um, in all of the products. So if you don't know who she is, she is an Instagrammer, a fashion and beauty Instagrammer, mostly fashion. And she also has her own YouTube channel now where she does vlogs and talks about like all her trips she's doing with her either boyfriend or husband. I'm not sure actually if it's ever been addressed if they're married, but she does all these trips that she goes to like fashion weeks and different like campaigns and stuff like that. And she vlogs it all and she posts it on her channel. And the first thing you notice when you go either to her YouTube or to her Instagram is how amazing her hair hair is. I mean, honestly, it's probably like the most popular hair on Instagram, at least for me. Every time I look at it, I'm like, what do I do to be anywhere near that? Hair hair is just the most beautiful. It's long, it's healthy, it's thick. It's got like the most perfect color, the most perfect texture, like it's just perfection. And I think her mom actually, she's mentioned how her mom is the only one that colors or cuts her hair. And I think she's probably just been really blessed with thick hair to begin with. Um, but really anything she promotes when it comes to hair, I feel like people will get because everyone wants to look like her. So she first released a hair oil that I also have. And if you want me to do a review, let me know in the comments. But she came out with this hair oil that's pretty expensive. It was like $85 or so. And everyone was talking about how well it works and how nice it smells and because of the feedback that she got on the smell of it she decided to come out with a perfume as well that smells like the hair oil but a little bit stronger and that's also for your hair that's not only a scent but also like makes your hair softer and nourishes it and all of that. So it's supposed to not only make you smell nice, but also be really healthy for your hair. So I bought this blindly. Basically you can order it online and there is a factory, I think somewhere in the United States in like Utah or somewhere where they ship it out from, but they actually make it in the Netherlands. And so it is from out of state and because of that, I think the shipping is pretty expensive. It's like $10. I think it's like a flat fee of $10. And when I looked into it, first of all, I should have said how much it costs. I'm like kind of all over the place. So this costs $80. It's 3.4 ounces. Um, so I think you get a lot of product, but it is pretty expensive because of the fact that you can't smell it before you buy it. You basically have to order it blindly unless one of your friends has it or something like that. I don't think that they sell it anywhere in the stores. I have heard that they've done pop-up events, but I think it was either in Europe or it was like in some other state, like nowhere near me. So you have to order it blindly. Um, the $10 shipping is not refundable even if you do decide to return it. And if you do return it, you basically return it blindly as well because it has to be unopened if you're going to send it back. So once you open it to smell it or to try it, you then can't send it back, which is kind of pointless. Like what's the point of the return if you can't send it back, if it doesn't work for you, like you have to send it in unopened form for them to accept it. And you do have to pay for your own return shipping and, um, and it has to be within 14 days of receiving it. So that's basically how the whole shipping works. I was curious enough to pay it blindly and try it out, but I know for others, it's probably really cringy to do that because it is a lot of money and it is a perfume, which is very usually personal. And if you're not gonna like it, you're basically stuck with it. And so that's kind of like the minus. I wish that you could order like a sample first or a smaller size first, but unfortunately you can't. And I'll also talk a little bit about the packaging before I get into the actual smell. So when I got it and I'll put it back in here, it came like this. So it comes in this acrylic box. 
um, with some foam in there to make it really to protect it and it has a pink like jizu sign in the front that you have to then take off to open it so this is how it ships out this is then in another box and then i think that box is in yet another box so it's really protected and i don't think there's really any way for it to break like ever um it's really really well protected when it's shipped and the back has a little um, description of the scent so it says and it's like really hard to see honey infused hair perfume jizu honey infused hair perfume is a delicate hair perfume enriched with honey from the mizarahi beer garden formulated to refresh and scent the hair this is like really hard to read uh, with Jesus signature fragrance, a feminine aroma that leaves behind an irresistible trail of the floral notes from the bee garden. The key ingredient is honey, which contains a blend of minerals, vitamins, amino acids, and antioxidants. Um, honey man maintains the hair's natural moisture balance, resulting in hydrated, smooth, and luminous locks with a silky shine. This does not contain parabens, silicones, or, or sulfates, and it's cruelty free so the packaging itself i really really like the cap is very secure it's not a magnet or anything but it's like you kind of have to push it to close it so it's very secure in that way i love the font of the brand and i just i don't know i feel like it's simple but it also has that something that makes it unique I've never really seen other perfumes that have packaging quite like this. If you watch any of their campaigns, that's what they're going for. I think they filmed um, or like they did a lot of photo shoots in like old motels with like the pink walls and stuff like that. So this definitely captures what they were looking for, I think. This, however, so on one hand, it really does protect the bottle and I think there's really no way for it to have been broken or anything because of this. But at the same time, it's kind of a waste of plastic you know like if like every single one of these bottles come in this and i feel like they had to have used like tons and tons and tons of plastic to create it and as cute as it looks and as much as it like vibes with their whole brand i just think it's unnecessary so i did purchase the hair oil and the oil came in this which I think is beautiful on its own. I love the flowers, the color of this box, everything about it. And I think this would have been sufficient for the perfume as well. I don't think that they needed to use this necessarily and like waste all that plastic. I feel bad throwing it out, but I do feel that it should have been in a box like this. I don't know, that's the only really drawback for me. It is very secure, it's very beautiful. It totally goes with like their brand and everything, but I just feel like it like bothers me knowing how many people order it and how much plastic goes to waste because of that. So now going into the actual scent. So I love this bottle, I love the cap, I love the font, I love everything about it. And I was kind of nervous about the scent because I knew I really can't return it once I try it. Um, but I really, really like it. So I have it in my hair right now and I have tried other hair perfumes before. I've tried Taka, I've tried Jesse James Decker. Oh, it, it went in my mouth. I've tried a bunch of them and I actually think this is like the best one that I've tried. And the reason for that is because it lasts a long time. Like it lasts until I wash my hair and you can smell it. It's not, it's light and subtle, but you can smell it and it's not like it's not something that will fade away within two hours and then it's kind of you have to reapply it and waste a lot of product that way this lasts from the moment you spray it until you wash your hair which i really really love i do wash my hair like every two to three days so i've never tried to wear it for like a week straight to see if it lasts that long but it lasts really well on me um the scent of it so the first thing you smell is honey and it's a pretty strong scent. It's very, it's literally like as if you were just smelling honey. And when that kind of fades away a little bit, then you smell the flowers. And it's not like a particular flower, just like one flower, like a rose or a gardenia or anything. It's just like a, an entire garden of flowers, just a mix of it all. So the honey is definitely like the main strongest scent of it but the flowers are also there and that's pretty much all it smells like it doesn't smell like anything else it's like flowers covered in honey that's what i would pick if i had to like blindly smell it it's really yummy it doesn't smell like anything else that i've ever tried like this honey smell is so distinct and i don't think that i've ever tried really any other products that had honey in it and so this is very different for me and i know honey just like coconut oil just like 
jojoba oil like all these different oils are very good for your skin for your hair just for your body overall it's like the nature's miracle and so i definitely see the point of putting it in a hair product if i were to compare it to another perfume and it really doesn't smell like other perfumes that i've ever tried but if you just were to quickly take a whiff of it and like not really think about it too much it almost kind of smells like Britney Spears' fantasy. So if you know what that smells like, which a lot of people do, if you just really quickly smell it, and again, like I said, like not really think about it too much, like that's the type of scent that you get. It's like a really, really sweet kind of scent. It's not vanilla-y, it's, it's a honey sweet, it's not like vanilla sweet or anything, but that's like the only perfume that I would say it's in any way a little bit similar, but when you really think about it and you really smell it, it really isn't similar. It's just like if you were to take a quick whiff and just think of like what perfume reminds me of this like at all. Again, it lasts in your hair for a long time. Uh, I don't, I mean, I don't know. Let me know if you have any other questions. I'm not really sure what else to say about it. I did try the oil as well and I like it. It smells just like this, just more subtle, like half as strong as this. Um, and yeah, I do think I would repurchase it. I'll see how long it this lasts. I've had this... So I got this while I was on my honeymoon and I started using it the day after I came back. So I've been using it almost every day for the past week or so. Um, this was not filled all the way to the top, so I didn't use all of this, but I did use a bit. If you are into sweet scents and if you do like the Britney Spears fantasy kind of scent, like that family of scents, you probably would really love it. If you're not into sweet perfumes, if you're not into florals, you would hate it. Um, basically that's what it comes down to but it does smell like the oil if you have it like and you're curious about this it smells the same just stronger so yeah that's my review I feel like it was kind of all over the place sorry about that but I hope it was helpful if you're looking to purchase it for yourself and let me know if there are any other perfumes you'd like me to review I'm always up for trying new scents thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon bye